This wasn't just a tragedy for Chipeco, this was, this was a national disaster. I mean, this team was beloved by the whole country, a football-mad country, but everybody loved Chipeco NC. There were various stages during the week where you could see, now it's about to feel real, now it's about to feel real. At the end of what was already a quite extraordinary week, and I keep using that word because I, I'm not really sure what other words there are. I mean, I mean it was extraordinary everything about the week. Um, so we knew that Saturday was going to be really tough. The team had, they'd been in negotiations with the families because they'd said, look, we really want to bring the coffins, the bodies back to the stadium so the fans and the community can, can mourn and pay their respects. So the fans made their way into the stadium and it was starting to rain. They put big screens up in the stadium. And so we were watching these military transport planes flying to the local airport about five miles away. And so we had this process for about 45 minutes where the caskets were being taken off the plane. And for everyone, there was a dignified round of applause. And at that point you sensed, this is about to get real for everybody here. And when the trucks arrived, there was just this deafening roar. You know, more than when a goal has been scored. It, it was, it was amazing. But then they started unloading the coffins and bringing them onto the field. And then the crowd was just numb. And the magnitude hit you. And by this point, the weather was absolutely atrocious. I don't think I've ever stood in rain like it. Um, it was hammering down and the, the raindrops would it was like balloons of water. Again, you were trying to make sense of like just this occasion and why it was like this. And then, you know, it hit me, and it's been said before, um, that everybody in this town knew that that team always played best in the rain. And, you know, maybe, maybe it was just supposed to be that way because the day before was gloriously sunny, the day after, gloriously sunny. As soon as the caskets had left the stadium, the rain stopped. And to lose them when they were in the prime of their lives, doing the thing they loved, and were about to play in this most amazing game, and they never got to play it. Very difficult for people to reconcile with that. As to how they rebuild, I mean, where do you start? There's almost zero foundation. You have a stadium. That's what you have, and a name and a reputation. But, you know, it's the end of the season, but the season starts again in the middle of January. I hope they can recover and, um, you know, I certainly left with a, a piece of Chipeco Ense in my heart forever. Um, and everybody's going to be rooting for them, but it's not going to be easy, is it?